Buying a house is usually the biggest investment Australians make in life, but it can be fraught. An ABC investigation has uncovered real estate agents offering ongoing work to building inspectors in return for favourable inspection reports. And a shoddy inspection almost turned one Melbourne, Melbourne woman's dream into a nightmare. Katri Uwibu reports. It was a gut feeling that kept Erika Vlasic from making the biggest financial mistake of her life. We had put an offer on a home that was lovely to look at, but clearly had some problems. A real estate agent told her the house in Melbourne had already passed a building inspection, one that had been organised by the vendor. He's, he's like, save your money, you won't need to spend that the $800 on getting your own, we've already done one for you. But something didn't feel right, so Erica sought a second opinion. It was a complete 180 on the actual report that we got. It found areas of the house were assumed to contain asbestos and be conducive to termite activity. One of the rooms was unsuitable for any form of habitation and veranda non-compliant. The house may be better suited to demolition and replacement, the report concluded. Building inspector Mike Heathcott says real estate agents in Victoria often come to him promising more work if his reports are generally favourable. If we would like to be very busy with lots of introductions from them to their buyers, uh, they could arrange that, providing we got on well together. He says he often bears their wrath after delivering a scathing report, with one agent saying, you and your company are no longer allowed to inspect any of our properties. Time to retire, mate. South Australian inspector Chris Short says some agents have locked him out of jobs for being too thorough. And that's fairly intimidating. When you're shirt fronted at the front door and uh, you're told that, you, that you're denied access. The peak bodies for real estate told the ABC they're not aware of collusion or intimidation tactics. But inspectors say the lack of regulation and the fact inspectors don't have to hold a licence allows agents to rely on so-called pet inspectors. Katri Uibu, ABC News.